Shane, welcome to Celtic. First of all, sort of how are you feeling about signing for the club? Yeah, really excited. Uh, looking forward to it. Spoke to Simon a few weeks ago. Um, like what you had to say, uh, you know, quite a few of the lads uh, with a lot of them last year at Buxton. Um, it's always, you know, it's always been a good club. I've played in plenty of times in my career, uh, so I know what it's all about. So yeah, really, really excited to get going again after it's been a bit of a strange season last year. So it's been nice to try and get get a full season under our belt. Have you been impressed sort of what you've seen around the club as well? Sort of you've been training and looking around the place? Yeah, definitely, yeah. Yeah, it's saying there's some there's some good players here. Um, it looks like we've got the making of a decent squad. Um, you know, I'm genuinely excited about what we can do, you know. I don't just like to come to clubs that can, you know, are just gonna pot around and, you know, and just take each season, just you know, go through the motions really. I want to come and, you know, win and, you know, try and push and um, you know, that's what I want us to do here as well. So you mentioned that you you know a few of the lads, does that sort of help make the uh Sort of transition a bit sort of smoother and you, you well, yeah, you know, familiar faces. Yeah, it does. Yeah, um, obviously I've been around a bit now, so you, you always know people through people. But always Wedgie, um, Brogues and Coggy and Shents last season. So it's nice to see some face when you come into the changing room for the first time. Uh, no matter you know how long you've been around for. We've got quite a few sort of big characters. Some of the names you mentioned there. Sort of important, isn't it, to have a sort of a strong, strong mentality, and a good team spirit for the season? Yeah, definitely. You need a good balance. Um, you know, experienced lads and younger lads, and you know, freshness and you know, legs, and um, you know, that just sounds you in good stead before the season starts. And you know, looking around, it's you know, it seems like we've got that here. So yeah, really, really excited to you know get going. You mentioned experience. You know, you've played at sort of a high level, and you've had quite a long career. Can you sort of bring? Is it about bringing your experience to some of the younger lads that we've got? Yeah, I think so, yeah. Um, like I said, I'm a bit older now, but, um, you know, I've still got the appetite for the game and, you know, the hunger and the desire to win. Um, I like to think, you know, I can pass off some of my experience to the younger lads and help them become better players. And, and you know, likewise, they can, you know, they can, um, you know, I can learn off them as well. You're never told to learn, no matter how, you know, how long you've been playing for. So, hopefully, you know, we can, we can all each help each other out this season. You mentioned you've uh, you've been in a few towns with different clubs. Do you think you scored here last season? I did do, yeah, yeah. I think we, yeah, it was we had a we had a good win here last year. And I scored a tap in at the bottom. I couldn't miss, but um, yeah, one of the one of the few goals I scored now and again. So I can try and get a few of those on the board as well this season. Be nice. I was going to say, yeah, being a defender, have you sort of scored a few goals throughout your career? Uh, a few, yeah. It's something I'd like to do more, really. I think um, I, I do go up set pieces, and you know, I do fancy myself when I'm in the air, and you know corners and you know free kicks etc so I would like to try and you know get a few more numbers this season but it's about the team winning and end of the day anything else is a bonus I think for me. And for those who might not sort of seen you play before obviously you're centre half what would you sort of say if someone said what kind of a centre half are you? Uh, I think I'm a bit old school I think I like to tackle I like to head and you know kick and you know I like the physical side of it um, I've always you know enjoyed that side of the game um, but I like to think when we you know when I can play as well I can get the ball down and and, you know, you know, try and play a bit as well. So I like to think I've got a bit of a, you know, sort of a good balance of a bit of everything, really. And yeah. um, also as well as playing in the high, high division, you're quite familiar with this league. What would you sort of say take it takes to be successful in, in this division? You just got to be consistent. Um, you know, you'll go to teams. You know that you think you should. You know, you'll, you think you should win, and you, you, that's not a mentality. You know, you've got to take every game like it's a. You know, it's a fan. It's a bit of cliche, but people might go to, go to certain clubs and think it's going to be an easy game, and that's when you get caught out at this level. You know, you've got to go to every game, whether you're playing top of the league or bottom of the league. Um, you know, you've got going to win in it with the same mentality. And you know, it's first and foremost about working hard and you earning the right to play all the time. But you know, it is. You can't just go there. And, you know, be lax and you know, you know, think you know it'll just happen for us. You know, you've got to spark that off, whether it's a tackle or you know, someone you know putting a good boy through in the first couple of minutes, and you know, winning a header, whatever it is. You know, you've got to get that spark. You've got to get everybody going around you. Um, you know, it's just it's consistency, it's hard work, and then you know, hopefully your quality shines through. You know, when you've done the hard part, really, the ugly bit, as they say. You sort of said said then about um, having some good starts. I mean, is it? Would you say there's a bit of sort of confidence in terms of getting a good run together? Do you think that sort of propels teams forward? Absolutely, yeah. You know, you can't you know you can't beat be going on a good run. Uh, it's massive, you know. Um, they say that all the time, but you know if you can get you put a few um, performance together, results together, you know it really does raise the you know the changing room and you know your confidence. You know the team as individuals, um, and that can only be a good thing because you know you do play quite regularly in this league. You can be playing Saturday, Tuesdays, and if you go on a good run and put a few you know results together, you can you know push yourself right up there. But on the flip side, if you if you're not at it a couple of games and you you know you take a couple of losses, you know you can find yourself a bit further down the, the table. So it's about approaching every game, you know, the same mentality. You know, coming, you know, putting a shift in. You know, and you've got to work hard first and foremost. And then, like I say, hopefully then you know your quality on the board, the team, and the individuals, you know, pull you through. And we're getting closer to pre-season. I mean, I know nothing sort of beats an actual league game, but we have got some sort of exciting sort of pre-season fixtures. 
coming up, and I suppose as you've not been playing so long, are you just desperate to get get back? On Absolutely, there? yeah, I can't wait to you know it's your first session back for a while. You know, last season was obviously a write off with everything that went on, and you know I think everybody you know around the world, you know, around the country, you know, playing at the moment, you know, just wants you know a full season the belt, you know, you know this sort of well because last season was very frustrating, so we want to come into the ground running, get some pre-season games in our belts, you know. Um, you know, get our fitness up, and you know the short, sharp stuff as well that you know you need in matches, and then like I said, try and take that into the season. Then with some good results in pre-season, some good performances, and like I say, just continue that on then at the start of the season. And finally, you mentioned uh, previously about having sort of the appetite and still sort of desire to play for, for the season. What do you think? Have you got sort of an aim? Is it about us just as finishing as high as, as possible? Yeah, it is. It sounds like I could say it does sound cliche, but you know there are some good teams in this league. But from what we've seen, I've seen here in the dressing room and you know, the players we've got. On paper, you know we've got we've got some really good players. Um, that doesn't always mean you're going to be successful. Because um, like I say, you know you've got to put the hard yards in first and foremost. But I think you know I think we really can you know be competitive this season. I wouldn't have come here if I didn't think so. You know I wouldn't have wanted to come to a team that that they're aiming to stay in the league. That's not what I'm about. I like to come and you know push on, um, and I've been trying to help us do that this season.